are a proud nation. We love our food, our sports, our beaches, and of course, we love our music. In the JDF, dozens of servicemen and women play in the Jamaica Military Band and the Jamaica Regiment Band. Hi, I'm Captain Amain Morgan. And I'm Lieutenant Celine Gordon. And on behalf of the Chief of Defense Staff and the General Staff Board, we would like to welcome you to the Jamaica Defense Force Concert Series.
The concert series is a showcase of the musical abilities of the various bands of the JDF. It is also an enlightening and enriching appreciation of what we do as armed forces. Protecting Jamaica and Jamaicans every day and to celebrate our unsung musical heroes. The chairman of the planning committee for Armed Forces Day 2021, Lieutenant Colonel Damien Crary, will tell us more about this concert series. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Damien Crary. I'm the Acting Inspector General of the Jamaica Defence Force. The Office of the Inspector General is responsible to the Chief of Defence Staff for matters concerning compliance to military law, policies and procedures, and the general standards of the force. Additionally, the Inspector General's Department also provides oversight and guidance in ceremonial matters. In this regard, the Armed Force Day celebrations and the parade falls under the purview of the Inspector General's Department. Armed Force Day is celebrated by militaries across the world as an occasion to recognize gallantry, hard work, and the sacrifices made by their serving members. In fact, in some countries, it is recognized as a military holiday. The day on which it is celebrated varies from country to country. It is usually done on a day which is significant to that country's history or in the history of the military of that country. In the JDF, and Force Day is celebrated on the 31st July. This is significant as the JDF was formed on the 31st July 1962, just before our independence. Historically, the celebration of Armed Force Day in the JDF has taken several forms to include the presentation of unit colors. But more recently, the JDF has sought to bring focus to the individual contributions of the soldier and the overall contribution of the JDF to nation building in keeping with our mantra, Mission Men Merit. Welcome to Armed Forces Day 2020 at Up Park Camp, the home of the Jamaica Defense Force. So they march on to the parade grounds, ladies and gentlemen. Five guards representing the five brigades of the Jamaica Defense Force marching at a regulation rate of 116 paces to the minute to the tune of the mechanized infantry composed by D. McBain. The guards being led onto the parade grounds by the masked bands of the Jamaica Defense Force and the corps of drums of the Jamaica Regiment under the maze of the Senior Drum Major Staff Sergeant Jason Ambersley, accompanied by Warrant, Act, Warrant Officer Class 2 Michael Green of the Jamaica National Reserve and Local Staff Sergeant Ramoy Dawkins of the Jamaica Regiment.
We hope that got you in the mood, as this is all about our Armed Forces Day Parade, where we will have a grand display for your viewing pleasure. Coming up next, more performances and a look at the history of jazz music in the military. Welcome back to the Jamaica Defence Force Concert Series. Balancing military life with a passion for music, Lieutenant Rafael Salazar hails from Cuba and is appointed the Director of Music for the Jamaica Defence Force. I am Lieutenant Rafael Salazar, Director of Music at the Jamaica Defence Force. My portfolio oversees musical matters related to the Jamaica Military Band, the Jamaica Regiment Band, and the Corps of Drums, but in general, all musical matters in relation to the, the force, including parade, ceremonial, and other events. Yes, I hail from Cuba, but I have made Jamaica my home. So, seeing hence my involvement with JDF. Uh, since I'm in Jamaica, I have seen a vast pool of talent, young persons who can contribute to the landscape of Jamaica for the future. And in my short tenure here at the JDF, I have seen the commitment and the talent of the members within the different bands and different ensembles within the JDF. My vision for the Jamaica Defense Force and the music in the Jamaica Defense Force, it is ones of a great achievement. We hope to restore the notoriety of a band within the JDF and to infuse innovation that will contribute to make the ensembles within the JDF a world class. Of course, reaching in there, it is only can be achieved by creating the liberant experience that will showcase the discipline quality training and the development of these you know, ensembles. For us, at JDF, we take pride in the music and what we do for the country. Hence, this series of concerts you know, that we have implemented, uh, in there we will see several ensembles, new ones for that matter, call it the big band, the jazz band, the different ensembles are the clarinet ensembles, the saxophone ensemble, the brass ensemble, and so on. We hope for the future to have uh, more ensembles so we can expand and contribute to the landscape, not only for the JDF, but for Jamaica in a whole. I invite you all to be part of this concert series and enjoy the music and what we have to offer during this concert series leading into the Armed Forces Day in which is going to be a grand finale.
Jazz music is not the first genre that comes to mind when you think of Jamaican music. But believe it or not, our music has roots in jazz. Director and curator of the Jamaica Music Museum, Herbie Miller, gives us insight.
Jamaican music as played by the Jamaican military band, for me as a boy growing up, has always been something very exciting. Because once there was some parade, whether at Up Park Camp, or marching down King Street, or marching on the way back from the beach, which they sometimes did, or even on a Sunday afternoon at Hope Gardens. The repertoire included so many different forms of music, a light classical piece here and there, uh, patriotic songs, march music or military music. Of course, some the military band is always going to give you some of our folk music, the Miss Lou type things and the mentor type things. And recently, even pop music. So it's been a wonderful experience looking at these men up there in their tunics and the colors and the, the shiny instruments and everything was shine and brilliant about looking at military people from the toe cap on the boat to the bottle to the brass things that they wear here and there and of course the instruments. So many wonderful musicians came out of the military band. Let's start all the way back about 1933 when the band performed at some big event in England. There was a trumpeter by the name of Leslie Thompson. There was another one by the name of Leslie Jiver Hutchison, who played so well that after they, they, they completed their military assignments and had downtime, they went out at night jamming with British jazz musicians. So excellent were they that they were invited. You guys got to come here which they did. Mr. Thompson started the first all-black orchestra in London, of which Jiva Hutchison was one of the trumpeters. Leslie Thompson was also Louis Armstrong's first choice for trumpeter when he toured the UK and Europe, and of course he wanted to present a black band, but you could only carry over due to union laws so many and then hire local cats. There's the top so as well. Jump blues and jazz are at the roots of our music in that many of the songs that we hear in ska came out of the big band and North American jazz scene. Some of them renamed, but still, you could say that jazz, this, that ska, this Jamaica, Jamaican creation, if you should remove the riff, just the ska, ska, ska riff, then what you really have left is straight up jazz. I don't want to wait in vain for your love. I don't... It's very pleasing to see the military band in a contemporary setting you know, young, new musicians, and to see them including now in their program, a medley to Don Drummond, for example, one of Jamaica's primary composers and instrumentalists. The music of Bob Marley, of course. I've even heard them play a Tyrus Riley in their set. So it's not only now the light classical pieces, and they established some uh, European uh, uh, canon that they pull from, but recognizing and highlighting our own classics by some of our own master musicians in the repertoire.
Welcome back. If you're just joining us, you're watching the Jamaica Defense Force concert series. As we look forward to Armed Forces Day, we will give you a taste of what is to come for the Jamaica Military Band. It is the oldest continuously serving unit in the JDF, a descendant from the West India Regiment formed in 1927. A parade and celebration of this nature usually involves the public and we relish the opportunity to invite persons into a park camp to celebrate with us. Unfortunately, the realities of COVID-19 have dictated that this year it is not possible. Nonetheless, the JDF saw it fit to continue with the celebrations. And not only to continue with the celebrations, but to still have the involvement of the public. This, we believe, not only shows the resilience of the JDF, but the resilience of the Jamaican people. So, from the comfort of your homes, relax and share with us.
you for joining us on the Jamaica Defense Force concert series. Did you know that our musicians are also combatants who are expected to carry out their duties as a soldier daily? In the military, we have several skilled areas. Being a musician is just one of them. If you'd like to join any of these areas and you believe you have what it takes, please apply to www.jdfweb.com slash join the JDF. On that note, we are positive that you are thrilled by all you've heard here today. We would like to thank Enya Linton and Mark Anthony Scott for our outfits. Do have one for day.